Previously on the Japan series, we were in Kyoto where we walked through Gion, visited the famous Fushimi Inari shrine, said hi to Mario, tried Sakura Mochi, ate Obanzai, went to a Studio Ghibli store, and ate our way through Nashiki Market. And today, we will be exploring Nara. We woke up pretty early to take the train from Kyoto to Nara to avoid the crowds. It only takes about 45 minutes to an hour to get to Nara. Welcome to Nara! It's 9 10 and most shops are still closed. I think we're a little bit too early, but we're gonna go to get some kakigori right now. Our plan was to actually have breakfast there, but um, as soon as we arrived, we found out that most stores only open at around 10 a.m. and some at 11 a.m. So it's, it's very peaceful. So we just went straight to what we came here for, the Nara part, to see the famous deers. And the deers here are famous for having learned to bow to get food from <laughs> tourists. If you want to see the bowing deers, try to come early because once they're full, they'll stop bowing and leave to nap somewhere under a tree or something. The deer in Nara are considered sacred and have a long history associated with the city's religious and cultural heritage. We're currently at the Nara Park and there are deers everywhere. Like there's a little stand here. There are a couple of stands where you can get food and then they like come up to you and they start bowing. It's like the cutest thing ever. Oh my gosh. According to the legend, in the year 768, the god Take Mikazuki arrived in Nara on a white deer to guard the newly built capital. The deer in Nara became regarded as messengers of the gods. They are protected as a natural monument and have since become a popular attraction for tourists. Over the years, many of the deer have developed a behavior where they lower their heads, resembling a bow when they see visitors. This isn't usually a natural behavior, but they have learned by doing so gets them a reward. So today, many of them have learned to bow to tourists in exchange for special deer crackers known as Shake Senbei. While the deer are generally friendly, you are advised to be cautious as some of the deer bite when provoked. The deer bit her. The efforts to ensure their well-being, including veterinary care, monitoring their population and maintaining a healthy environment is taken seriously. It's like they're literally everywhere. They're like walking down this street. So over there, you have like the entire Nara park and then as you keep going straight, you see the temple. This is the gate of the temple, which is really freaking impressive. You can easily spend an entire day visiting all the shrines and temples in Nara. 
As we kept walking, we came across the Yoshikian, a Japanese garden in the central of Nara. It features three different styles of gardens, a pond garden, a moss garden, and a tea ceremony garden. Each garden represents a different aspect of traditional Japanese landscaping. It originally served as the private garden of the Saneyoshi family's residence. I mean, can you imagine having this as your garden and taking a stroll here after dinner? What a dream. You can eat mochi everywhere in Japan, but have you ever eaten it by the fastest mochi pounders in the nation? This shop is called Naki Tanidao, um, and their specialty is yomogi mochi, which is made with mugworth, and there's usually a long ass line um, in front of the store, so you won't miss it. So I read that Nara is very well known for persimmons. Now we're going to try this um, persimmon leaf sushi i think it's like fermented or something and it's like a specialty here so i feel like we should definitely try the specialty food we got this. so i thought that you were supposed to eat the fermented persimmon leaf with the sushi and i was telling my entire family to do the same and we were trying to keep an open mind on the taste because the leaf is extremely hard to chew and it was really tough um and i was wondering why some japanese people were staring at us in horror so i found out after eating the entire thing that i wasn't supposed to eat the leaves you're supposed to unwrap it and then eat the sushi inside of the leaves but not eat the leaves <laughs> my entire family hated me for it shopping and now we're gonna head to have some shabu shabu around our area and yeah there's so many cat cafes here it's unbelievable and owl cafes they also have an otter cafe they have freaking like everything so many cafes unfortunately the shabu shabu place was fully booked until 8 p.m and it's currently only 6 p.m and we are hungry so we found an izakaya place with good ratings and went there instead Anyway, we had such an amazing trip to Nara today. I highly recommend it when you're planning your trip to Japan. We're already halfway through our Japan tour now. We've already explored Tokyo, Hakone, Kyoto, and today Nara. Next, we'll be exploring Osaka and Kobe. I created a Japan playlist so it's easier to navigate the trip. Um, to follow along this Japan series, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for hanging with us and have a good one. I'll see you next Wednesday. Bye!